Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Learn. I'm Miss Barb. And I'm Miss Kristen. We're so happy you joined us today. Are you ready to jump in your car? Car, C-A-R. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna drive my car. I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast. I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast and the world goes past. I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast and the world goes past and the lights go flash. I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast and the world goes past and the lights go flash and we step on the gas vroom vroom we're gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast and the world goes past and the lights go flash and you step on the gas vroom vroom I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels go fast and the world goes past and the lights go flash and you step on the gas vroom vroom and the engine blasts. I'm gonna drive my car and the wheels turn fast <laughs> and the world goes past and the lights go flash and you step on the gas vroom vroom and the engine blast look out we don't want to crash miss kristen did you step on your brake i sure did just in time i know <laughs> that's so fun i love that song i think i'm gonna park my car <laughs> Woo. All right, I'm glad. I hope you all stepped on the brake because, oh my goodness, we don't want to crash. Mm -mm. All right, so let's take our car down. And let's see. It says poodle. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of far, but it says poodle. Here is a puddle. Here is our poodle. All right. There's a poodle in a fuddle in the middle of a puddle. Will she wade to the left? Will she wade to the right? Will she stay in the middle till the sun shines bright? When the sun shines bright, will the puddle disappear? Will the poodle in the middle give a great cheer? Yay! <laughs> that means she's not in the puddle anymore. The sun made the puddle go away. All right. So today's book, pull it out. It is called Harry and the Dirty Dog. And it's written by Jean Zion, pictures by Margaret Bloy Grand. Let's find out about Harry the Dirty Dog. There's Harry. You see Harry, he's got a sponge and he's in the bathtub. Hmm. There he is, he's running away. He doesn't want to be in the bathtub, so he's on his way. So why does he get dirty? It says, Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except, guess what? Right, getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and he buried it in the backyard. There he is, he's digging a hole. He's not gonna let them find that brush. And then he ran away. 
He said, they're not going to find him or that brush. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. Here he is, he's playing in the dirt. Oh, that Harry. He played at the rail yard and got even dirtier. Let's see, I knew where Harry was. I lost Harry now. Oh, here he is. There's Harry up there in the black cloud. I found him. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. That's why we can't recognize him. Look, is he white with black spots anymore? I don't think so. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. There's Harry. See how he's changed? Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that they had that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. So there's Harry. They won't recognize him though, do you think? They won't recognize him. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence. Here's Harry. And he was looking at the back door. So here's his family over here. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Hmm, told you they wouldn't recognize him. He's not white anymore. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flipped and flopped, and he flopped and flipped. He rolled over, and he played dead. So he thought if they saw all these tricks, they would recognize him. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Doesn't look like Harry, so they still don't believe that he really is Harry. Mm. So Harry gave up and he walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. What was he digging for? Hmm, let's find out. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. You know what was in that hole? Yeah, he found the scrubbing brush and carrying in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family following close behind. Here he goes, got that brush in his mouth. Where do you think he's going? You guessed it. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? So they still don't know it's Harry, but it's nice that they can give him a bath. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. And that's the end.
So there, on the front, Harry before, Harry after, and then Harry again. So he went from white to black to white. So that was That's it. a classic, Miss Barb. I love that yes, story. It certainly is. All right, so we have one last rhyme, one last finger play. We're gonna put these pictures of our, we have five little kittens. Here's our word for kittens. I'll hold it up for a second. So we have one, two, three, four, five kittens. Five little kittens standing in a row. They nod their heads to the children so. They run to the left, they run to the right. They stand up and stretch in the bright sunlight. Along comes a dog who's in for some fun. Meow! See those little kittens run. That's cute. Should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. So hold up your hand, all five fingers. So five little kittens standing in a row. They nod their heads to the children so. They run to the left, they run to the right. Then they stand up and stretch in the bright sunlight. Along comes a dog who's in for some fun. Meow! See those little kittens run. Very cute. Oh, how fun was that? All right, well, that's it for today's Let's Learn. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us.